Does anybody have some tarot cards for me? Because I would really like to know who the mole is. N no? Oh well. What a pity. Welcome back to a new Hints of Fears video, this time to episode number 8 already. Only two episodes left and this season will be over again, unfortunately. So before we head to the tasks, I want to say that I think this time Kim Young wasn't that suspicious. So I really had the feeling that she acted like a very good candidate this time and tried to gain a lot of money. Just saying that, but probably it could still be me not wanting to accept that mask eye hint. Who knows? Now let's start with task number one and this time I thought everyone didn't seem very enthusiastic about the task. I had the feeling that he didn't really enjoy it or didn't want to enjoy it. He did get some carpets but still I think he could have done some more and well let's say he didn't give his absolute best. At least that is what it seemed like. Also, Kim Leanne seemed like a very good candidate in this episode. We, of course, have to talk a bit about her actions as well. And during task number one, there were two things that were a bit conspicuous. So the first thing actually could be a moral hint. So we had that situation where she talked to everyone about how nice that one carpet looked and that she would like to buy it. And of course, she could have really meant it like that. But as a mole in this task, you would like to waste some time with things that actually aren't important in that moment or even unnecessary. And everyone also reacts like he thinks that it was very unnecessary to talk about that in that moment. So yeah, it could have been that Kim Lian tried to waste some time by talking about how nice that one carpet looked. Nevertheless, there is also an anti moral hint to Kim Lian, and that is that she was the one to tell the artist to focus on only two streets. So as you know, there were five streets which they could have used, but they didn't have enough carpets and then it makes sense to just focus on two streets. Not sure if it wouldn't even have been better to focus on only one street. But as a mole, you would never say to focus on only two streets, knowing that this is the way better method to gain more meters. So this is actually an anti-mole hint to Kim Leon. And last but definitely not least, in this task, let's have a look on Freesia. And I think she really didn't do that much, at least we didn't see her so often. She even goes to that one shop where they have been before and asks again for more carpets and then that lady tells her that she already gave some. And she also wastes some time by trying to involve that child, to which everyone reacted again by telling her that they are in a rush and that they need to get this task done and that she should not focus on the children. Now off to task number two and talking about Fresia. In this task the women and especially Fresia were very dominant if you ask me. So it already started when they were still in the bus and they got the call and she immediately knew on which position she wanted to be and she involved Kim Ryan in that but there was almost no chance for the boys to get on that tower. And also later in the game the women were very well, they had like the whole game in their hands, so they were constructing the questions and already answering them. Sometimes they asked the boys for their answers, but especially in the beginning of the game, it seemed like the women were dominating everything. And there's one certain situation which was so obviously suspicious, so one time Frise doesn't even tell the question to one answer. She just says the answer and when everyone asks for the question to recheck the answer, she tells him that she won't tell him the question. And that of course is so absolutely obviously suspicious that you could almost think that it is a candidate who tries to mow very obviously. But then again, if Frisia is the mole, then the artist 
don't seem to suspect her that much and that would probably lead the production to tell her to be a bit more offensive, to do some more obvious modeling actions so that in the end someone will figure out that she is the mole. Also in the show Mall Talk we get to know that not all questions were answered so the ladies definitely could have done some better work. But the boys could have also done some better work by checking out their play field in the beginning more intensely. Then they would have probably recognized earlier that there were some containers with the same names on them. I mean yes they did realize that but very late. So when they recognized that there were two containers with Everon Hila Thomas on it, it was too late to get rid of that second container. And of course as a mole you would ignore that and well just play a little bit and only get rid of one container per question. Also as the mole you know that there will be a guess in the end if there's more than one container left. And on the bottom team you have a higher chance to be part of that guessing process and if everyone is the mole then well Thomas was so fast forward he was almost deciding alone on which container they should guess and if everyone is the mole then this was so easy for him to just go along with Thomas decision to take that one container but also Fasia went along with it quite quickly as well. And even though Kim Leon had a bad feeling about that one certain container, she didn't really do any protest. She didn't really say something, at least we didn't get to see that. And this of course would involve all three of them, although I think Kim Leon in this task was again not so suspicious as Frisia. And a bit as Everon, but yeah, Frisia definitely the most suspicious one. And task number three, this time everyone was, well, trying to keep Kim Leon busy, so he constantly told her to dig in other places, which was quite funny, but I can also understand that she was a bit annoyed by that. And of course, because mostly it didn't work out, so she digged so many holes and barely found anything. There's another thing about everyone in this task. Almost at the end, when they didn't have that much time left, they started to put together that one scooter and Kim Lian wanted to, well, take that because she can't run so fast, that's of course okay, but everyone helped her and I thought, would the mole do that? Because on the one hand, you know that this is the only way to gain money in the task, so only if there's a scooter in the end, in that cafe where Rick waits, they will get some money. So as a candidate you want to earn some money and help putting all the parts of the scooter together. But they were so late in time, it could have gone wrong. If they had taken some more seconds, probably one of them wouldn't have made it to Rick in time. And that would have meant that they lose money. And as a mole, you want that, of course. You want to, well, lose money, don't get any money. It was clear that Frisia and Thomas wouldn't get any money since they would arrive in time but with no scooters and then it would have been probably interesting for the mole to get some money out of the pot by arriving late or by letting Kim Lian arrive late. Nevertheless, you can interpret it in both directions as everyone being a good candidate or a mole and in the end his action didn't work out so yeah, that's still open to interpretation. Also, the question is if the mole really wants to make himself very suspicious in that last task before the final. So that were all Hints and Theories to episode number 8 so far. I have one more interesting thing for you that is not really a hint but maybe a nice information to have. So in the Dutch TV show RTL Boulevard, one of the presentators asked Arno, who appears in that show from time to time, whether he knows who the mole is. And he answered that question with, well, he knows that either Frisia or Kim Lian or Thomas or everyone 
is it and he knows who the two finalists are and now there are some discussions going on why he says there are two finalists because now we have three and probably the most logical explanation to that is that we already get to know who is the candidate who loses the final next week so that in the end for episode number 10 we only have the winner and the mole left at least that is one explanation that is going around at the moment i thought it's interesting to get to know that and it would make sense to me to say okay we have three more tasks next time and then we already get to know who loses the game, so to say, and for the last episode we have the Master Ball left and there we get to know who the mole is and who the winner is. Let me know if you think that makes sense and also tell me if you've spotted any more hints and theories in episode number 8. Also tell me what you think about the one that I've mentioned now and who your mole is at the moment. Also I want to make a little suggestion. I want to know if you would be interested in let's say some summary videos to each finalist so that after episode 9 whoever will be left then we get to see like the most important most suspicious hints and theories in a short little summary video to each one who is left then either two videos or three then so that we have like one short summary before we finally get to see who the more is. So let me know if you would be interested in that or not. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any further Hints and Theories videos. You can also follow me on Instagram or still join our Facebook group. And until the next video, I wish you so much fun figuring out who the mall is. Bye!